All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the second part of the show, we're going to talk more about the Dallas Cowboys. There's some recent comments made by uh, Stephen Jones, and I just wanted to give my thoughts on what he had to say. So this is kind of, you know, what this is what he said uh, just regarding the Cowboys and kind of where they're at uh, in terms of, you know, getting close to winning a championship. So this is what he he, he said recently. Uh, we've won 12 games three years in a row. I think there's, I, I think that's right at the top in terms of what teams have done over a three-year period. And we're hanging around the rim. We've just got to go up there and grab it, to use a, a basketball term, and dunk it in. We're hanging around the rim. We just got to get the job done. And they've been, listen, they've been hanging around the rim for a while. Now, some might say they're not even at the rim. You know, they're, they're, I don't know, they're at the free throw line? No. Um, I, I wouldn't say they're hanging around the rim. You know, they're trying to put up a shot. Maybe. Because, I, you know, I, I talked about this when I did the segment on, I think it was when I was talking about Dak Prescott being under pressure this year. You know, they, they, they haven't made a pass to the divisional round in years. You know, the last time they were America's team, it was before I was born. These are the Cowboys that I know. And again, it's a team that, well, recently, you know, wins 12 games. It's a good team during the regular season. They get to the playoffs. And they either lose in the wild card round or the divisional round. They don't go any further than that. Now, I actually did pick them to go to the NFC Championship game. I did, because I said, the NFC is not that tough. The Eagles are in a free fall, and if they will be, and I, you know, I, I had them winning against the Buccaneers. If the Cowboys won and the Eagles won, they both lost, but if they both won, they would have played each other, and I think the Cowboys would have beat them again. And, I, you know, I, I, I thought the Packers were good, but I, I just said, you know what, Dallas is at home, and, you know, it's a new era, no more Aaron Rodgers. I, I just was like, eh, I think the Cowboys will take this one. And boy, was I wrong. Dak Prescott did not play well. The defense did not play that well. Well, they, it, it was a lot worse than that. And, you know, they kind of just been in that same spot. Now, you go back to the early 2010s, and I just, you know, it, it was funny when I was younger because it was just like, you know, you go 8-8, eight and eight, three years in a row, and it they all end the same way. It's you're playing a, it, each each team got a chance. The Giants, well, they went on and won the Super Bowl. Then Washington, and then the Eagles. They all got a chance to beat the Cowboys in the final week of the regular season and knock them out of the playoffs. Well, getting into the playoffs. It, it, it just... Eight and eight, three years in a row. And then 2014 happens, and they were a very good team. Very good team. You know, DeMarco Murray had that great season. Tony Romo played well. And you thought, okay, maybe this is it. The Cowboys are back, right? They win that playoff game, that controversial playoff game against the Lions with that pass interference call that, you know, they, they threw the flag and then they picked it up. And then the Cowboys won that game, but then they lost to the Packers. And yes, on a controversial call with, uh, you know, Des Bryant going up and he, he caught it. He, he did catch it. He did. You know, I used to try to spin it and be like, nah, he didn't, he didn't catch it because he didn't, the, the, the ball popped up when he hit the ground. But he did take a couple of steps. So that should have been a catch. But I always say this, though. Even if he did catch it, even if the Cowboys did score, there were three minutes left on the clock. Aaron Rodgers was getting the ball back. Now, again, we don't know what would have happened, but I'm just saying, Aaron Rodgers had time to go down the field and score again. But, whatever. Um, that was that was one of the best playoff games ever. The, the, those, well, in my lifetime. Those, those two teams. But then, you know, look what happened. The Packers then lost the following week because they couldn't hold the lead, and, you know, Brandon Bostic, you know, muffed the onside kick when Jordy Nelson was right there to catch it. Yeah, 
that was that was a, that was a tough one. That 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 was uh you know as an Aaron Rodgers fan at the time, that was that was a tough loss. So, but yeah, that was 2014. Then you go to 2015. Tony Romo unfortunately gets hurt. Uh, comes back later in the season, gets hurt again, and that that 2015 season, Kellen Moore actually was playing quarterback for them at one point. Uh, so yeah, that you know that season was a. Uh, that season didn't go anywhere. And then 2016, Romo gets hurt, but you got Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, and the team goes out there, has a good year. They were the one seed, lost to the Packers. 2017, they didn't make it. 2018, they made it, lost to the Rams in the divisional round. 2019, they didn't make it. 2020, they didn't make it. 2021, lost to the 49ers in the first round. You know, And then 2022, you lose to the 49ers again. And then last year, you lose to the Packers. So, it's just... Look, are the Cowboys one of the best teams in the NFC? I think they're a top five team. Top five. I would rank the Eagles over them. I'd rank the Packers, the Lions, and the 49ers. I think all those teams are better. Um... But, fortunately for them, they don't play in a tough division. It's really between them and the Eagles. And I, I think, you know, both teams, both games that we're going to see, because, you know, you figure one of them is going to be on Sunday night, and another one's going to be, you know, the late game on Fox, late afternoon game on Fox, depending on where you are. Uh, both Both those games should be, well... I say that, but, you know, the Cowboys did dominate them on Sunday night last year. But I think the Eagles are going to be better. So it, I, I think those th- both those games should be very competitive. And, I mean, I just did my rankings. I think the Eagles are better. I think the Eagles got better. I think the Cowboys, they're, I mean, they're still going to be good, but I don't think they have gotten significantly better. You know, so, I, you know, I, I feel like they're not really hanging around the rim right now. I feel like, the, I feel like last year was the year to do it. And they didn't do it. And teams are going to be better. And I think when they play the Lions, you know, because the Lions didn't get a chance to play them after, you know, the whole thing with the offensive tackle and, you know, the, the whole miscommunication with the referees and on whether he was eligible or not be an eligible receiver you know the Lions are going to want to you know get revenge for that because they only lost by a point so you know I, I'm excited for that matchup when we see that again but yeah I just and the Packers I mean they, they, they put up 48 points on the Cowboys now they they're better the Packers are going to be better Jordan Love he's going to play he will play like how he did towards the end of the year for a full season now. He's going to put it together for a full year. They got better. The Eagles got better. I mean, the 49ers are still the 49ers. You know, um, I'm still putting them at one. But the Cowboys, yeah, that, that's where you're at. You're, you're at. you're at five for me. So they got to go out there and show that, you know, they could do it, but I don't think they will. I mean, you know, Stephen Jones, I mean, I think he also said, like, he thinks that Dak could, you know, lead them to a championship. Well, Dak hasn't led you to an NFC championship. And I think I said this uh, recently, too. But it's true. They haven't gotten out of the second round. And we'll see what happens after this year because... They still got they they got some stuff to figure out with their players, their star players, with CeeDee Lamb getting his contract situated and so he's here long term and with Dak and what they're gonna do with him, Michael Parsons, they it's you know, they, they gotta figure that they gotta figure that stuff out. It's gonna be tough. But for me, the Cowboys are not 
hanging around the rim. Now, are they close to the rim? Yeah, I mean, I say that. I, I don't think... They, it's not like they don't have a chance to do anything. Because I still... Because, yeah, they're still a good team. But... Are they a championship team? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that they could make a run, but I've said that the last couple of years. Because for a few years, their defense was bad. And then their defense improved. I thought 2022 could have been it. But that ended up not being the case. And then last year, just how the conference shaped out, I thought that they could make a run to at least the championship game and lose to the 49ers again. But that did, it didn't happen. Didn't happen. So, I, and teams got better. So, I, I really, I, I, I think they're further away from the rim. Not significantly, but they're not, they're at least not hanging around the rim. So, but that, that's, that's my thoughts. Let, let me know what you guys think. Uh, where are the Cowboys in your NFC rankings? A uh, couple of rankings I did. So, I did the, I mean, well, I, I, I've done the, the NFC rankings kind of four, but, yeah, I mean, that's where they're at. I mean, I, I just think that the team's got better. Cowboys kind of just stay the same. But we'll see how their draft class is. If their draft class turns out to be where they get their impact players, then okay. But, you know, maybe Zeke goes out there and has a, a really good year. I don't know. He said he's got something to prove, so we'll see uh, how true that is. But anyways, so before we go to break, uh, second break, just want to remind you guys again to tip or donate and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the following link. That is gsmcpodcast.net. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment down below. So when we come back from our second break of the show, we will talk about the Green Bay Packers, uh, some things that uh, their offensive coordinator had to say. Uh, I'll talk about them and my expectations uh, for them as well. i got to alert on my computer here so apologize if you heard that but anyways uh that is what we will talk about when we come back from our second break of the show so with that being said stick around and we'll be right back here on the gsmc football podcast <laughs> 